I feel like Genshin Impact got pretty lazy with this and let me just explain what exactly I'm talking about. So as we know Genshin Impact 5.0 is coming out very soon, the whole new Natlan region and with the new Natlan region we're going to get a few 5 star characters. Specifically we're going to get 2 5 star character and 1 4 star character. Now, the, all of these characters obviously have their own thing. They've got their whole Natlan thing as well, where they have the movement. It looks pretty cool. The Knight's Soul Blessing. All of that, I am on the bandwagon for. I'm all for that. You know, I'm pretty hyped and excited for those. But there's something just itching in my brain telling me that this is something that Genshin Impact just overlooked. And they were like, you know what? Just give them all the same thing, which is for one of their passive talents, or the last passive talents they all have, is that all of them are able to collect local specialties. Now, I think that it's a amazing thing that a four-star character can have this, and I'm very, very excited that she does. I think that giving this specific, um, what do you call it, a passive for all of them is pretty lazy from Genshin Impact. I feel like they didn't put any thought into it. I just think, oh hey, they all can move pretty quick, so that means they all have this ability, so they're all pretty good at movement. Well, I think they should just give that to the four-star character, which everybody's going to get, by the way, and then just the five-star character should have something different. Like, for example, Walani, have her have 15% movement speed on top of water. That would be pretty cool. Or have Kinich have 15% gliding um, efficiency or something like that. I don't know, but something to give them a little bit of a oomph, I guess, from these passives. Not give them all the same thing just because they can explore better than any of the other characters. While in some cases, I do think this is a... I guess practical passive because all of them are good at exploring but also why do that why give it to all of them if I wanted to do exploring and just collect those I'll have the four star character on my team and then just pick whatever other, pick them and then they can do other stuff right I don't need all of the characters to do the same thing for example let's say I'm going to go for Kinnich which I am and I'm going to summon on his banner. I'm going to summon on Wallace's Wall on his banner. They're all going to have the same thing. Why would I want all of their passives to be the same thing? I don't know. In my brain, that's just it just doesn't make sense, right? But even if, let's say, I don't go for these characters, I still get a four-star character that has that exact same thing. And to me, that is just I feel like it's lazy. I feel like Genshin Impact was like, hey, just give him that one. Hey, just give him that one. Hey, that's, just give him that If there was a world where I didn't get the four-star character, then I would say, hey, yep, that's, uh, that is pretty unfortunate that only the five-star characters have that, which generally only five-star characters have this passive. But since the four-star character was given this passive, and you can get local specialties and see them on the map so it's easier to collect with the Forcer character. I think K K Kajina? K Kajina? I don't know how to say her name, I'm sorry. But she has it. She has that passive. So why do the other 5 star characters have that same one? It's just, it's it doesn't sit right with me. I feel like uh, they could have done much more with that and they just decided, hey, I'm just going to throw this in there so um, I, didn't I don't have to think about it. To me, I feel like that's a little bit too lazy and Genshin Impact could have given them much, much better passives. I mean, man, I'll give them the passives myself. For a Molani, I said it, 15% movement speed over water while using their mental skill. That'd be amazing. And then for um, Kenich, I say whenever he's using his little Amato skill to like glide or whatever or to like grapple i feel like he should move faster 15 percent give it to all of them um i don't know some sort of buff to, get, to just make them a little cooler just like how they did with all the other characters rosaria a four star character she has a 15 percent movement speed increase in the nighttime why don't they just give that to kenich and make him movement speed in the morning i, I, <laughs> I don't know i feel like they could have given us so much um, oh, Tazaha has, uh, I think, 15% uh, decrease of stamina consumption when gliding, I think. 
Um, I don't remember that one specifically. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I think Xiao has a 15% stamina decrease in consumption when climbing, right? I think, if I remember correctly. I don't remember correctly. But I don't know, something cool, something to give them a little bit more of, rather than all of them have the same thing. Because yeah, all of them having the same thing is kind of just, it's kind of annoying, I have to say that. But that is just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think. This is what I think, I guess a little bit of a rant video. Let me know in the comments, are you guys um, thinking the same thing I am? Or is it just, I'm just nitpicking a little bit too much here. That's gonna be it. Let me know, let me know. Uh, see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye.